Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing, you guessed it, the blind playthrough of the insane difficulty run. It is time to continue our third mission in Act 3, Chapter 8. And it's going to be one where we can either have your units have smaller primary weapon magazines. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Bring back equipment. Well, I'm not sure what that means. I think it's going in and getting equipment. Uh, when your unit executes an enemy, it heals to maximum health. That is actually a pretty cool uh, modifier. Complete the mission without deploying any support units. Oh, and it is a two uh, unit maximum. Well, in that case, we're just going to do this because I really want to play with a full team of uh, different skilled resources. So let's do Cyclone here. And I figured we're taking um, Taxi with us, who was the sniper that was um, crit, um, crit build dead. So to remind ourselves, she had the whole... Lucky Streak, Crit Build, Killing Spree type of uh, build, together with a little bit of Chain Shot in there. Really nice build so far. Then we wanted to have um, the Ultra Shot based shooting heavy uh, called Skits. Both of them are great units. I think we're going to go with um, Mojo as a support again, who has worked uh, very well. And... Just to round everything up, we could go with a um, scout, um, a reconnaissance scout, or we're trying to do the whole uh, the whole Vanguard <coughs> shock trooper thing again. I think I want to see the shock trooper in action again. So these are the alternative builds, and I just want to see how well they are performing overall. They are well equipped and should be ready to go. So without further ado, let's jump into the mission. According to our intel, some prime equipment's there for the taking. Secure it and bring it home. Very good. That's what we're going to do. All right, let's give it a go. We're charging in. I'm curious to see how these alternative builds will do. It's one of those reach the gate missions again. Make it count. So my experience with that is you typically have a really hard um opposition around here there's one epic case here there's another one here this sort of seems to be the target and a third one there okay we got a malus of minus three to our primary mag size oh boy sniper rifle down to one okay all of the Standing other weapons by. down to two. That's not good. Maybe we're right. using sidearms then. Can I get somewhere up here? This almost On looks like way. a good place. <laughs> Trying to see what we're dealing with. Cantus. Nasty Deviant Hammer Burst Drone, couple of other Hammer Burst Drones, and there's a ticker over there. Okay. Sniper Aura. No regret move. We are having a support aura on the support. Another no regret move. Support on standby. And our support gives two actions over to our sniper. Not let up. Plus 20% damage bonus, so Standing that's by. pretty good. That would kill the Cantus right away. And we could get both, almost both of these hammer, hammer burst drones. Equally so, both of them. 
let's see. So, first things first. Cantus needs to die. Having that 100% kill. Out of ammo. That's helpful. Stay down. Reloading. Time to reload. Not a perfect shot. Chances are very low of hitting. Uh, well, not very low, but are relatively speaking low. Can we kill both of these guys? It's maybe not the worst. That's a kill and the other one is getting out of cover. Orders? Solid copy. All right. That does not work out well yet. Quick move up and just throw a nice little grenade there. Uh -huh. mm. Not good enough of a shot. If I was to throw a grenade, I could almost kill these guys. But almost Ready. is not quite a kill. Vanguard on standby. Good, moving no up. Yeah. Still can't fully kill the Vanguard. Uh, the Deviant Drone there. Both of them heavily injured though. Okay. 20% hit chance only. Waiting orders. Wilco. Let's just try to overwatch. Not the perfect turn, but we'll at least keep them at bay. Three heavily injured enemies are definitely not the optimal scenario. You want to, best case, uh, kill both of them, or three of them, or at least kill one of them and not leave everybody else kind of injured. This guy here is a problem. Time to go. Okay, hundred percent crit chance. Yeah. Couple of things. Number one, let's do lock and load afterwards. Go ahead. This here's a two for one kill. I'm all out. Keep them coming. That is still only 800 damage. We need more. I'm listening. So a few things. Number one, let's do some healing. Number two, Time to lock, everybody gets rock. some big fat damage boost. Very nice. That Thunder kind of leads us, uh, leads us directly into how to disable this guy. Out of ammo. Okay. 
On my way. Moving up. Nice little reckless shot. Come on. Last round. Healing both of our operatives there. Okay. Sniper reporting in. Taking position. Good. We're taking the position over here. That's a solid chance to kill him. Reloaded. Time to reload. Jack is moving up. The ticker here is starting to uh, to become annoying. Moving to position. Kill zone established. So the moment that he comes up a bit closer, we're going to actually kill him. Same on this they side. Won't get past me. Surprise! Did we really just miss? Fifteen percent hit. I can't believe yeah. it. Well, luckily, in those scenarios, we still have our grenades. Moving to position. Moving up. And thankfully, these Hit. don't yeah. miss. Oh, there's still a zealous back there. Okay. One grub. Orders. Good. Let's start with cleaning this here up. Two extra. Two extra actions. You got it. No prison. <laughs> Only one more. Standing by. But he doesn't like being Enemy touched in melee. I can respect that. Ten percent chance to hit only. Hmm, that's not good. Moving up, and let's provide some extra to hit. Whilst we're at it, this here might be helpful. Damage reduction, and we're hiding. Just Bring in case on. the guy I'm runs ready. over, we do have an overwatch ready. there. Took you out. Affirmative. <laughs> okay. All right, let's start and see what we can do. Heat up gives us an action plus reloads. We need. A full weapon. Wow, 
wow, he is very much staying there for now. To be honest, we're just overwatching. Understood. Eyes peeled. That might be not the sexiest move, but I know that these guys can deal a bit of damage if uh, if they are left unchecked. Down to eight hit points. See, that's why the forty percent damage reduction is really good. Reckless shot it is. Last round. <laughs> nice. Okay, we can agree that that was almost too close for comfort as a call. Ready. If you don't have badass in all of those, uh, all of those abilities that make you stronger. Orders. Then the shock trooper is really just a normal frontline soldier. It's almost like a ranger without untouchable. And it is quite weak against critical strikes. And even though the zeal of was, was uh, interrupted, it still seemed he could continue to move on and just take his shot. So we gotta be super careful with these dudes in the future. Support on standby. Time to heal up. Just what I needed. Mm -hmm. End of turn. He is eventually regenerating, slowly but surely. Well, maybe not as slowly as I thought. Ready. Two more turns until lock and load. I think next turn we can give it a go. All I'm of the cooldown, almost yeah, all of the cooldowns are ready. Late next turn. Good. This will be good. Yep. Well, that was a harsh first part of the mission. That the biggest problem is actually uh, using the act uh, the actions for reload, so it puts a real drain on your overall action economy. Continuous reloading and so on and so forth. What do we have? Two deviants and something else behind. Looked like a full camp of some sorts. So deviant disciple, hammer burst drone. A couple of Theron guards. Those guys are nasty. Even sniper drone, another sniper drone. Well, they brought the full party, didn't they? This here would be a great place, but it's also quite exposed. Hey. Okay, redeploy this. Are we going to go with extra actions? potentially the right call but it's such a good uh, cooldown i don't want to waste it no problem nah we're just okay. running all right jack moves Sniper up reporting. as well And we're using a bit of extra movement via cover. 
It's good to see that the heavy is taking the front line. Hammerburst. The Stevian uh, guards are dealing a lot of damage. But the main problem will be the Theron guards and the sniper drones. The one sniper here and the Deviant sniper further back. There's a Grenadier. Another big problem. I can see a lot of problems. All right. Let's test how well we can hit up, uh, hit them from up here. Ten percent. Yeah, that's not good. Can we kill the sniper? No, we can't. Unless, of course, I would give him extra actions. Don't think that that is a great idea. However, we can take something off the battlefield. XCOM has taught me do it and do it right away. You've got this. Should have potentially first used this here. Just for the cooldown reduction. Moving up. Go ahead. Good. This should now be a kill. Yeah, if we're just centering it enough, it is a kill. Right out. And one last, uh, one less of these pesky uh, snipers. Well, with uh, the grenade. Good, we got one option to move up here, then shoot and basically move back. Acknowledged. Ultra shot. That could be a kill. That. Nah, 40% is too low. Let's just try to kill him. Okay. Very good. Gun is dry, but... We can still get back into cover far, far away. That's good. Go ahead. Affirmative. Sniper moves up. Support moves up and finally. Let's move up all the way to here, just out of line of sight. That way, the sniper does not uh, get any chance to be annoying. Okay. These are, there are a lot of enemies and we got to deal with most of them one at a time. Currently we can't compete for the ledge there. Just too many enemies at the same time, but we can eventually get them one by one. Eliminating the snipers is the first, uh, first kind of step. Because that will give us... Um, that will give us a huge advantage in terms of range. Next one would be the uh, Theon Guards. Okay, this guy needs to die. This will be good. 
go down to one. Eventually I'll keep the small capsula or uh, how far could I throw that? Could throw it all the way up here if need be. The other option is move up and give everybody an action. Okay, okay these guys are a problem. Yeah. So we gotta deal with them. Can't shout, which means it needs to be a grenade. See, this turn would be a fantastic one for lock and load. His weapon is empty. Might as well lock and load now. Let's shred some grubs. That also applies for the grenades. Nice 50% damage buff. Ready. No, misclick. Face palm. Massive face palm. My mouse, unfortunately, I, I noticed it as it was happening. My mouse, unfortunately, re registered a double click. There is no excuse for that. There's actually no excuse for that. I feel terrible. We've just had such a good run. And then the Vanguard uh, is like, yeah, what does that uh, thing do again? Pulls the trigger and boom. Okay. Up here, we would eventually get an overwatch shot. Ready. Moving up, I think it's fair to say that we could use the extraction. So if we move up here, we could shoot. That's one moving, shooting another one, and eventually moving back. Ah, we can shoot twice and then move back. Got to deal with that deviant sniper there. Awaiting orders. Standing by. Standing by. Hmm. The other option Ready. is moving to here and starting to wreak havoc. Even sniper drone is still the biggest problem. If we move up here, that's just one out of five. Away yeah, we gotta, we gotta you move got in. It. That's one thirty-eight percent shot only, and thirty percent. Hmm. Heating up, I'll save that for an eventual reload. Good, moving up. Even though it would, it would have costed, by the way, two units to go there to begin with, so it wasn't wasted. This is a good potential hit and hopefully a kill. Last round. 
There we go, that was helpful. Can't fully move back. If we pick it up, we wouldn't get an action though. Vanguard here. One. That's a kill. But where do we go afterwards? Could go back here. Yeah, we don't have we don't have enough defense. I think we need to get over here. Unfortunately this grenade mess up has has destroyed a lot of our momentum. On the move. Yeah, we can overwatch to make sure that this guy is not coming any closer. Standing by. Let's get to the actual part where the kills should happen. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I was hoping for more. Even with precise shot, that's not really good enough. Hundred, hundred, and too little. Half cover, evasion, modifiers, obstructions. How's this guy sitting behind half cover and has basically a hundred percent? 100% protection. On that frontier, Orders. it would be great to charge in and then get them out of cover. Waiting orders. But we don't have empower to get him back. That's the problem. And I hate one-way trips. It's not a good way of playing the game. Good, let's start with building up some momentum here. Doubling down, that worked well. Good, we can now active reload. Gonna reload. Another lucky streak. Still 20%. What's our chance of moving back? We can move back here with one action unit, that's good. Which means... This 50-50 here isn't too bad. However, we would not be able to fully kill this guy. I'm still trying it. I'm out. Yeah, we we can't stay here. Got to move back. Waiting huh. orders. And we're putting that tree in between us and them. Okay. Good. Next turn we might be able to move over here and charge in. And although it's not doing much. Feel better already. Let's start and let's overwatch. Oh, he has hunkered down. Ah, now I see how he got all of that defensive bonus.
Even Sniper gets back into cover. Now it's our turn. Sniper reporting in. Ready. Grenades are I'm all listening. on cooldown. This is a perfect timing for a grenade, by the way. So they want to get up here. That is quite clear, right? They want the high ground as much as we do. I think remote reload, the right um, call here. That saved a lot of actions. Uh -huh. uh, if we're moving up here, that allows Roger us that. to take one shot and go back. Unless, of course, Orders. we're going to hand over actions again to our sniper Give them what they came for. so far so good the open load is still on cooldown only 20% chance not great yeah. are you kidding me this is the cleanest line that you've ever seen straight up and how is this not oh boy my flanking attempt miserable much to learn I have with that game. Yep. Okay. This guy has he's like a leech. He has positioned okay. himself very well back there. I'm wondering if it is just a better idea for you. now to withdraw strategically because these guys are now going to come up. By thinking about it, we might have another way of playing this. So our, whenever you're in such a situation, at least what I'm doing is I think about what the enemies could do. This Theron Guard here is a problem, and this Wretch is a problem. We don't have an option to just straight up kill the Wretch, but we can make sure that it won't fully reach us. Okay, how do we deal with the Theron Guard is the other good question. Would be great to reach him with an intimidate. He's basically just out of reach. This is, a, this is so aggravating to see that we could, but then could not uh, move there. Okay. Demoralize. It's a 33% chance, which is better than our other chance. This at least get gets rid of the sniper. Press one grub. Good, and we can retreat back to here to not be in range okay so what i was uh, thinking is these two are the problem i was actually originally thinking moving him here
getting him out of cover and then trying to snipe him. Unfortunately, yep. that does not work. We don't have we don't have any option to hit him. I'm listening. Which means now we're either uh, trying to stay here and overwatch, which is one option. The problem is he might be able to, to come in. The other one is we're going to get completely out of line of sight. Very unfortunate. Moving closer would also not be a good idea because this guy is still there. What we can do though is that is indeed not a bad idea. Plant the mine no and then begin to move back. Heavy reporting in. We could use a smoke uh, to cover us here. Essentially make us unseen. Heavy still has three turns, right? Okay, moving up. What's the chance to hit this guy? Oh, very nice. Increasing our damage. And that could be a kill. Running dry. One dead grub. Fantastic. That worked well. Took you out. That worked really well. So sniper's gone. All of the enemies are gone. Only the Theron guard that is uh, there. We could move back to here, and we're taking that forty percent damage reduction. Plus, he's out of explosion range. And this is making them invisible for now. Good. And that's eventually overwatching in case the, uh, that one Ratch comes up. Bring it on! I see interrupted. One dead grub. Do we have another remote reload? No, we don't. Yeah. Target is down. Okay, well, that is 800, but that's not enough damage. We need more. Substantially more damage. Roger that. But that's a 50-50. We only got pistols left over. Not good. Not good. We have a sprint. Yeah, but that would. Uh, those uh, guys are retaliating. Good. So this is a bit of extra damage. Down. Lock 
Reloading. Come on. We need damage. Ultra shot. It's over for you. Last round. Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. Good work. I'm impressed. Okay, we still got the fear and guard back there. Awaiting orders. Gotta reload here. Reloading. <laughs> and we're going to get some Overwatch aura here. Nothing from that side. Just a Theron guard back there. Reload. Good, we're reloading. And the one thing that I like about heal is it is coming back up quite regularly from the cooldown. Heads up! Locust activity! Yeah. Engaging! That's what I'm talking about. Good shot. About damn time. Good, we've reloaded. No, we just missed all of the crit all of the other two crates. Well, it was a difficult enough mission. I actually enjoyed the last fight quite a lot, um, short of uh, the short of the misclick, which was not my brightest moment. The rest was good. We were two crates short uh, this time, and we could have definitely gotten the other two. Ah, that is annoying. But what are you supposed to do when the mission automatically ends? Potentially could have taken a different path, but that fight for the high ground, that ah, was great. A bit of back and forth, mo moving in, taking a couple of shots, and they were trying to just to ru bomb rush it and get the high ground themselves. Luckily for us, the snipers went out relatively fast, which allowed us to then uh, have the range advantage. Cool, good. Now, let's finally open all of the equipment. Got a passive uh, skill for swift accuracy bonus. Utility belt is great. Uh, that is definitely an upgrade. And another grenadier. We got some good equipment there, guys. Let's start with Gabe. One ammo and accuracy bonus. I think we're going to take that. I love the extra ammo, uh, but uh, his biggest problem is hitting expertise unit skill cooldowns are reduced by one well that also means the uh, inspire is reduced by one and that means this is actually better than our 10% accuracy bonus although I really liked his accuracy bonus gotta give him props for that that is a great bonus. Glory is good. Yeah, we don't need the utility belt here. Although having the grenades on a lower timer is quite tempting. I'm not going to lie about that. Hunter's shell. This is the other... Uh, armor that gives him an execution bonus and hardened yeah i think he's he's well equipped do we get anything in here flatliner is great 40 damage and two ammunition 
Look, the Flatliner one is good on paper. My problem that I always had was how do you how do you make sure that your that your charge actually connects? Oftentimes it does not. So let's get that extra ammunition and damage. And that also means we can take anticipation here for better tanking. What does the Swift do? Uh, unit takes a shot, 20%. Yep. When unit gets a critical hit, the chances triple. Yeah, but we got disrupt and disrupt is imbalanced. It's too good. You don't want to get rid of it. Mikaela, the sniper. 15% accuracy bonus sounds great, but I think I'll prefer the crit damage. And we got Swift here. 20% chance to receive one action. Units gets a critical hit. The chance is tripled. Hmm. Yeah, we still need that minimum damage that we're having. We already got an accuracy bonus. And here we're essentially... We either reduce your, our ammunition, which I don't want to. Um, and go for a higher base, a higher base. Yeah, or we're keeping that um, rep barrel. This is not bad. I am. I'm thinking it has its. Uh, it has its justification. However, we are already almost at a hundred percent crit, so that uh, when. When it gets a critical uh, a hit, the chance is tripled. That really doesn't do much for us. Good, Rhea. Accuracy and less ammunition or 100% crit chance we're just going with 100% crit chance it is fantastic blast zone yes please she already has grenadier yes please and she already has utility belt it's just that there is another utility belt now available and finally our heavy tank 40 damage, great. We got high ground here. When this unit shoots from high ground, 40% crit chance. Well, currently we do have a 15% chance to shoot again. High ground isn't bad either. The crits do hurt a lot. The other option is just getting eight ammunition. But we don't have ultra shot, do we? He's very short uh, of level seven. And with level seven, we could have gotten to ultra shot with a reskill. Ah, uh, too bad. Quincy, you're not going to make it to level seven. Not before the end boss of this act. And I'm not sure if there is even an act number four. Uh, we're almost maxed out with all of our equipment, so it seems we're we're pretty much ready to finish. Supreme weapon mod. Okay, maybe I am wrong. Maybe there is something better than the legendary ones supreme weapon mods cool okay anyways guys look uh thank you so much for joining me on uh the missions we're going to do knock knock uh next um, a lot of knock knock jokes with that and hopefully we're going to get that supreme weapon mod thanks for watching if you enjoyed uh, the content feel free to leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode bye bye